professor at the University of the West of England in Bristol in the UK, and I'm the principal investigator of our university in the Healthy Child Project. I lead a team of about seven or eight students and postdocs, and our major contribution to the Healthy Child Project is really in two main areas. The first area was, uh, and this was largely at the start of the project, is when we led the requirements study across each of the partners in the project. And in, and in, and in, in order of importance, I guess, the, the visits to the clinical partners was probably one of, the, one of the most significant contributions that we made to the project. The, the purpose there was to talk to the clinicians to find out what their expectations and requirements were of the Healthy Child Project, for us to capture those requirements and to build a set of scenarios so that when we came to deliver the Healthy Child Project, the, uh, we could prove that we have addressed the requirements of that clinical community. So that was the, the first main contribution of the University of the West of England. But during the project, we, had, we made many other contributions. For example, in, in one aspect of the project, we took those requirements and we built a data model, that is a database, in which we could capture all of the data from the project and have it usable for the clinicians. This enabled us to address the main requirement of the project, which was the integration of heterogeneous database, data, that's lots of different kinds of data, across multiple uh, diseases for the purposes of paediatric personalised healthcare. So my team um, constructed that data model and enabled the data to be accessible through the de development of a querying facility and the ability to look into that data and make reasoning about that data and, and also to visualise that data so that it could, it, the, the clinicians themselves could uh, in, uh, query that data, bring it up on the screen and, and, and be able to um, satisfy the requirements that we, that we uh, captured at the, at the start of the project. So UWE was involved in requirements analysis, in specifying the data model, and in delivering some of the applications to prove that we achieved the overall requirements and the overall objectives of the Healthy Child Project. Uh, it's been a pleasure being part of this project, which is multi-country and multicultural. It's, it's been, personally for myself, very rewarding to be able to work with the doctors and helping them to address real scientific problems, real medical problems, and to deliver software which is of high quality and, uh, and helped us build the, uh, the system and address the overall objectives of the Healthy Child Project. Uh, at the end of the project, one of the most important things that we had to do was to exercise the scenarios that we put together from the requirements at the, at the project outset. So we have been helping the clinicians through a series of training exercises to prove the functionality of the system. And we, we've also captured information that we're going to use in the final system for online help facilities so that the doctors will be able to have easy access and assisted access to the Healthy Child System.